Shalom, Shalom, Ka Akim. I want to first start by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rabbah, All right, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the only begotten of the Heavenly Father, Bashim, Rabbah, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, who well and was taught as true. I want to give peace, blessing, and salutations to the sincere Akim out there. All right, that's uh, hating this life, hating this world. All right, and waiting for America to be destroyed and waiting for the Lord to bring peace, tranquility, blessings to his people. All right, um, without further ado, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 4. It reads, Riches profit not in the day of wrath. All right, so um, all these people out here that's spending their hard time and energy and uh, building up and, and gaining money, okay, in this society, it doesn't profit you anything, okay? The, the American dollar is about to collapse, and all currencies worldwide are about to collapse. So if you're out here trying to store up treasures all right, on this earth, you're going to be... Uh, you know, sadly mistaken, you're going to regret, all right, you won't be destroyed, all right, so this is Proverbs 11 and 4, it says, riches profit not in the day of wrath, and we're coming into the day of wrath, it's known as Jacob's trouble, it's also known as the day of the Lord, it's going to be a devastating day, devastating time period, where people are going to be dying of starvation, people are going to be dying of illnesses, people are going to be dying of uh, plagues and, and, and wild beasts, all right, and the money that you that you labor for, that's not going to profit you, okay? It reads, but righteousness delivered from death. All right, and what's righteousness? Righteousness is faith. If you have faith in the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai specifically, Yahweh, he gave us his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, that if you have faith in him, you believe in him, you believe in his word, all right, you're going to be delivered. The Lord himself is going to protect you in the times to come. He's going to save you, all right? Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 6. And I'm going to start at verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. All right? You're not supposed to be storing up treasure on earth. All right? And, and the Lord gives us reasons why. Because moth and rust doth corrupt. All right? Say you buy a new pair of Jordans, right? What? A couple months down the line, they look like... They look like garbage, all right? They stink because you've been wearing them all the time for work or whatever, all right? They, they're corruptible, okay? Or it says, or these break through and steal. So, all right, say you get the brand new pair of Jordans, right? And you only wear them for a week. They're still fresh. Next thing you know, it's someone stolen, all right? So, why are you putting all your, uh, your, your time, energy, and focus in things of this world where it's nothing in this world is guaranteed? All right, nothing in this world is guaranteed. Your woman, all right, you, none of your possessions. And a woman, a wife is a possession. All right, nothing in this world is guaranteed. None of your possessions are guaranteed. So you're not supposed to be laboring and storing up for that. All right, you're supposed to be laboring and, and, and trying to just get by day to day. That's why we pray to the Lord in the Lord's Prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. All right, just hoping that the Lord get us through the day. All right, actually, in the last verse, I'm going to jump down to that real quick. Verse 34 it says, Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So daily we got a, a laundry list of evil. If as a man of the Lord, you got a laundry list of evil that you gotta get through daily. Alright, so we gotta pray to the Lord that we get through what we're going through today. Alright, and that's sufficient. We don't have to worry about tomorrow. We don't hey, we gotta get our daily bread. Alright, but I'm gonna jump back to verse 20. It says, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, and that's what you're supposed to do. And how do you store up the treasures in heaven? All right, making your videos, making your sit-downs, all right? Giving your body a living sacrifice and making sure you get out to the highways and the byways. All right, make sure that you're brotherly. All right, if you do make a little bit of money helping out your brothers out in time of need. All right, and ultimately, you know, teaching this word, waking up the elect is the ultimate thing that you can do. All right, to protect yourself and um, protect yourself from your sins and to store up treasures in heaven. Just a quick precept real quick. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 and the 8th verse. It reads, And above all, 
and above all things have fervent charity among yourselves for charity shall cover the multitude of sins all right and the ultimate form of charity is is teaching this word all right because peter the apostle peter and i believe uh the apostle john all right they said to the men gold and silver i have not all right but the word of yahweh bashim yashah i'm gonna give it to you all right which is far greater than than gold and silver all right and in these times uh benjamin's all right, and, and Andrew Jackson's, all right, $100 bills and $20 bills and stuff like that. I mean, that's nothing, man. All right, the scriptures talk about how, how these deceitful riches have wings, man. You, There's going to be times where you, where you have a lot of money, and next thing you know, you're not going to have any money, all right? You got to constantly make money in the society to survive. So, hey, man, the fervent charity, all right, of course, helping out a brother financially definitely covers multitude of sins, but the ultimate thing, all right, is... is Hey, man, teaching the knowledge that the Lord has given you. All right, the Lord said to Simon Peter, Apostle Peter, the head disciple, said, Hey, if you love me, feed my lambs. And how do you feed them? With this word. All right? Because this is, this, is this is the bread of life. All right? That if a man eat, he's not going to perish. He's going to live forever. All right? Back in Matthew 6, in the 20th verse, it reads, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. So in the kingdom of heaven, all the things that we're going to inherit and have is incorruptible. No man's going to be able to take it from us, and it's not going to decay. All right, our clothes, everything is going to be brand new. Our garments, brand new. All right, our sandals, brand new. All right, if we want a brand new woman, we'll get one. All right, <laughs> uh, just everything is going to be new and fresh clean all right and that's how it's going to be every single day that's just going to be our way of life way of living all right verse 21 it says for where your treasure is there will your heart be also so if you if you're if your treasure is in heaven that's where your mind is going to be in heaven are right? you going to be focusing on the kingdom of heaven and what it takes to make it to the kingdom of heaven and salvation all right but if your mind is upon the the vanity and the corruptible things of this world that's where your heart is, all right? And if your heart is in this place, you're going to be destroyed, all right? According to the Holy Scriptures, all right? You're not going to be protected, all right? This is the book of Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted and shall destroy you even with a sword of structure. So if this is your rest and you seek your rest in this and captivity and slavery, all right? The Heavenly Father is going to destroy you, all right? And it's going to be a sword of destruction. Okay, you're not supposed to be taking refuge, all right, in the dollar. You're not supposed to be taking refuge in anything that the devil, the so-called white man, has uh, given our people. All right, the only safe house, the only safe haven for our people, all right, is in this word. It's the book of Psalms 91, verse 1. It says, He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, all right? And there's no better place to be as an Israelite than in the secret place of the, of the Most High, all right? Which is this word, because this word is a secret, and he only reveals it to a service of prophets. He doesn't give it to the whole world, just the elect, okay? And if you're in that secret place, dwelling with the Heavenly Father, he's going to protect you. He's going to have your back. And adversity, he's going to deliver you, okay? And affliction, he's going to save you. Verse 2, it says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and in him will I trust. All right, we're supposed to trust in the Lord and no one else. All right, it says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. All right, he's going to deliver us from this thermonuclear destruction. All right, it says, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be shield and buckler. All right, so he's going to deliver us from the chariots, all right? And this truth, it's our defense, all right? It protects us from the evil and the wickedness of this world. Ultimately, it's going to protect us from the destruction and the wrath that our Lord is about to bring to this world, all right? It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. All right, we're not going to be afraid, all right, by the terror by night, the terror that's going on in darkness when all hell breaks loose, all right, or the, or the guns being shot. All right, or ultimately the nuclear missiles, you're not going to be afraid of it. It says, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So you're not going to be afraid of the, the illnesses that people are catching. 
are the dreadful illnesses that they're catching. It says, nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee because the Lord is going to protect us and deliver us. It says, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And the reward of the wicked is, is thermonuclear destruction and fire. All right. Pursuing the Malachi, the fourth chapter, and we'll go ahead and read it. So Malachi 4 and 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So all the proud and all the wicked are going to burn in this oven that the Lord is about to bring to the earth by way of the chariots and by way of the thermonuclear destruction. All right. Verse 2, it says, But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the style. So the Lord, if you fear the Lord, you fear his name, small and great. All right, you're going to be protected. You're going to be safe. All right, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. So the Lord is going to protect us. That's whom we trust in. All right, we don't trust in this dollar. We don't trust in this system. All right, we trust in the Lord. And Lord Williams at a fine video. We'll give all praises going on to you. How about Shun Yao Shai? By Shimmer and we'll give double honors to the apostles and the elders who rule well and taught this truth. Peace and blessings to the sincere out there. Shalom, shalom.